Hello, what's up people? How are you doing today? How is your business and your family doing? I hope you are all doing well and my video is meeting you in sound health. I want to appreciate you guys for keeping me here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to my existing subscribers and to those who will subscribe after today. Thank you as well. Please feel free to subscribe and also Tap the bell so that once I upload new videos, you get notified. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be making a gypsy gown or dress or what we popularly call a Caribbean gown or dress. Okay. I have here, this is by 40. The, the length is not up to 60 inches. Okay. This is by 40. Well, sorry, 45. So I hope to remember when I'm done to say how many yards I used, I ask the Holy Spirit to help me to remember because oftentimes I keep forgetting. Okay. Now for this Caribbean gown, we are going to be dividing the lower part into three. Okay. That is the first, the second, and then the one that will get to the floor length. All right. So my measurement from my waist down to the floor length is 46 inches divided into three will give us that is if you want your own layers of caribbean your own um, layers to be of the same length okay so i divided mine into three to give us 15.3 i approximated it to 16 inches i hope you get okay but then i think i'll add half an inch to that 16 inches to make it 16.5 that is for the or i'll add one inch to the 16 inches that is for the joining up and the joining down so for each of the layers is going to be 17 inches my legs might be different from your own it might be longer or shorter okay so i think i will do the lower part first because the upper part is not a posture it's just a normal bodies okay so quickly we will start and i pray that i will remember to say how many inches i ended up using okay so i've got the three layers successfully i hope you see it i did it this way so that you will know the difference between one layer and the other one this is it one two three i hope you see it one two and then they are of the same length but different breadth okay so this is the one from my waist is 70 inches okay the other one is 100 inches the other one is 130 inches so I added 30 30 inches okay I have to drag it down so that you will see it I hope you see it. this one ended here I turned this one so you will see the difference. See the one from my waist, it ended here. This is the second one, and then this is the third one. Okay, the first is 70 inches, this one is 100 inches, this is 130 inches. Okay, so we will now go to the upper part, which is just the simple bodies. All right, so this is for the front. My half length is 17 inches. I'll add one more inch for allowance. Like I said, this is just the basic bodies. There's no style to it. Bust is 44. Okay, first shoulder, 17 inches. But because I'll be using a straight sleeve, I would have to change it. I'll use 15 inches instead. Okay. 3 inches for shoulder slope. And here, half an inch. Okay. I am hold eight inches. Okay. Okay. 
bust line 12 inches I need to place my bust measurement 44 sewing allowance I'll use two and a half inches waist 39 into four 9.75 I'll put three inches that is included in this three inches it's just a simple that I'm going to be putting here okay I'm adjusting this armhole the front one So I adjusted it by half an inch. Okay. For my neck width, I'll use three and a half inches, neck depth six inches. putting that oh sorry I'll not be putting lining now for my dart my bust span is four inches so my dart is at four point five okay so half inch here half inch here now for the dart length four inches I hope you get it so the length of my dart is four inches okay and my my dart is placed directly at my bust span okay so half inch on this side half inch on the other side so that by the time you are done sewing it you have four inches left as the dart i hope you understand it okay So I'll use this one to cut the back. The only difference is the zipper allowance I'll put here. Okay, so now I have to put the front and the back cut out. Okay. Hope you see it. The only difference is the zipper allowance and the adjustment at the armhole. Okay, let me remove this one so that you see what I mean. You know, for the front, I moved inwards by half an inch. I hope you see it. But for the back, I maintained the shoulder measurement I'm working with. Okay. All right, next will be to cut the facing. If you want to use lining, you can use, but I don't want because this fabric is a little bit stretchy, so I want to make use of the stretchy nature. Okay, now, oh, thank God. What we ended up using was five yards. The fabric is remaining three yards, so it means we used five yards, but if you are using a fabric that is up to by 60, I'm sure you know you will have to be need, needing less than five yards. It was because this one is by 45. That was why we used up to five yards. Okay. Okay, so these are the facing. Okay. This is for this. And this is for the back. So I'll go now and put the facing, fold this armhole because it's a sleeveless. So I'll fold this armhole. 
put the facing and then for this lower part i will make a gather stitch at one end okay like this one now i will make gather stitch at just one end okay okay so here is the upper bodies i've done the neck and the arm hole okay and then i notched the center front and even the back that, that this is for the sleeve anyway okay and these are the pieces for the lower part remember i have three of them so the next thing i will do will be to just the way i did this one what I have here is the circumference of my waistline plus zipper allowance. I hope you get That's what you have here. This is the upper part. This is the lower part. Okay. So the next thing I will do will be to, meanwhile, I gathered the three layers this way. But this is the, the bulkiest of them all. Okay. The other two are not so serious. Um, it gathers. All right. So... What I'll do next will be to now take the other one that I already gathered and fix here. This is what I mean. You see, this one is not as bulky as this one. I hope you see the difference. Okay. So I will now use this one, attach it at this lower part here. Okay. Now, the reason it is not as bulky as this one is because whereas this one I gathered it using my waist circumference, this one I will gather it using the measurement I have here. Remember, I said this is 70. So, this one now, sorry, this one now, I gathered it to the measurement to the circumference of 70 inches okay and then the lower one which i already attached i gathered it to the circumference of 100 inches i hope it's clear enough okay so i will now attach this one to this and attach this to this and sew it okay so that will now give us our full length all right now coming to this upper part, the reason I did not um, join them at the two sides is because I want to fix the sleeve. And this here is the sleeve. And it's, about, it's unfolded already. It's about five inches, just can be less. Okay. So what I will do will be to fix it. From this point like so if you want to have a straight line if you want yours to be straight it's all good <coughs> okay a fix from here like this through to the front this way okay so that when I open it it's this way and then I will continue I will start from here also move this way through to the back i hope it's clear so when i do that i will then join them at the two sides using the body measurement and of course i will join the lower part here okay okay so i've done all the necessary joinings and even fix the zipper and we've come to the end of our gypsy dress let's say thank you for subscribing i'm going to give it a very good press but before then miss headless will have to try it out for us thank you very much once again for your time please subscribe if you are new and please keep watching to meet my next tutorial take very good care of yourself stay safe and be innovative don't forget the plans you have for the year i hope you have kickstarted it I love you and bye.
Yeah, yeah.